Middleware is a type of software that provides common services and capabilities to applications outside of what's offered by the original operating system. It acts as a middle layer middleware between the application software and the network. In this video, we will go over two things. One, we'll quickly create a middleware for a fast API application, and then we'll go over a more advanced way. In that example, we'll be implementing rate limiting based on the client IP address on each request. All right, so here we need to go ahead and create a middleware. Now to start this tutorial, I already have my main.py file already created, with a virtual environment, but I need to first do a pip install for fast API and Uvicorn. These are going to be the main dependencies for us to learn about fast API middleware. Now, the very first thing we need to do is just say from fast API, import fast API, our request, our random string, and then create our fast API app. We then need to go ahead and create our middleware. Now, there's really two different ways we can create a middleware in fast API. There's the at app dot middleware where we can pass in HTTP, which will get called before every single API endpoint, or we can create a middleware class, which is a little bit more advanced. And we're going to be going over that later on in this video. But first, let's go over the easy one, which is just creating an at app dot middleware that takes in an HTTP. Now, just so you can read along with me, a function call next. So this call next that we're passing in. This will receive the request as a parameter. This function will pass the request to the corresponding path operation, then it returns the response generated by the corresponding path operation. So this is something that we're going to be passing in to every single middleware that we create. So what we can do is I'm just going to erase all of this now and paste in this response that's equals await with our call next request. So we're passing in the request that we get, and then we have our call next. We're going to create just random letters, join them together, and we're going to be 10 characters long. We're going to print those 10 characters in our terminal. And then we're going to create a new header for our response that's equal to those random letters. So for example, if we go ahead and just create a random endpoint that now says at app.get with a slash, and we name this function say hi, and we want to return hello YouTube. If we go ahead and run our application, and we go into our application, we can see that it says, hello, YouTube. Now we can see that it's going to be logging this response header of X request ID. If we go back into our browser and we go to slash docs, we can see that we have our say hi function right here. And when we want to run this application, when this endpoint gets hit before it calls the business logic, it's going to call the middleware. And we can see that the response is hello YouTube, but we also now have this X request ID with the 10 random characters inside. Now, this was a super easy example of how we can create a middleware in Fast API. What we're really doing is just creating a random header. Now, there's way more advanced ways we can deal with middleware because we're going to be dealing with middleware if you have a front end application and you need to use cores or if we're trying to do some kind of business logic before an endpoint is hit. But for our advanced application or our advanced way of learning middlewares, we're going to create a rate limiting application. Now, rate limiting means you can't call a specific function or a specific API endpoint more than X amount of times per minute. And this helps protect you from like a DDoS attacks and other kind of security concerns. Now, the very first thing we're going to do to do this is I'm going to turn off Uvicorn after erasing everything. And we're going to have a couple more imports. So we have our normal fast API request and response. We have our Starlight middleware base where we import our base HTTP middleware. We're going to collect the time. So we're going to collect the time that someone calls our endpoint. We're going to collect their IP address and we're not going to allow the same IP address to hit the same endpoint an X amount of times within a certain amount of time period. So then we're going to add our default dictionary and then our typing of dictionary. Now, the very first thing we are going to do is just create a new class that is called advanced middleware. 
where we're passing in our base HTTP middleware from our Starlight middleware base. We are instantiating this class by calling the parent, which is base HTTP middleware, and then we're setting up our rate limit records with our default dictionary of type float. Now, for simplicity's sake, for this application, I want to implement some type of logging. But it's going to be a lot easier if we just have a async def log message and we just print the log to our terminal instead of setting up like a real logging system. But this will be able to show exactly the example that we want to show. We then want to create a dispatch. Now, this dispatch function is going to take in our request and our call next, which is the same stuff that we passed into our easy middleware. We're capturing the client IP address by saying request.client.host. This captures the real user's IP address. We want to track the current time by saying time.time. .time. And then if the current time minus the self dot rate limit records of the client IP is less than one, well, then we want to tell the user the rate limit has been exceeded and throw a status code of a 429. Now, this allows the user to only be able to call one request per second. After we throw up this guard clause, Let's go ahead and say self dot rate limit records of our client IP address equals the current time. Let's go ahead and just throw in some logging by saying path equals request URL path. So that's going to be able to capture the API endpoint. And then we can log that message of request to, and this is just going to be probably slash something, but it's going to be able to document the API endpoint that was tried to be hit. We then want to process the request by saying start time equals time dot time which our response is going to be equal to our call next request. And then process time is going to equal our time minus the start time. Let's do something similar to how we did the last middleware where we created a new header. But this time we're going to create a custom header that says X process time, where we're going to string our process time that we have up here. And then we're going to say for header value in custom headers dot items. We just want to do a response of our headers and then append the header in the value. And then lastly, let's do an asynchronous logging for our process time where we're just doing our log message. But remember, our log message is essentially just going to be printing to our terminal, but we're going to be doing it in asynchronously. So it can be like a background task or something like that in the future. Now, one thing we will have to do is we will have to set up our app dot add middleware and then pass in our advanced middleware into our application. Now, when we do this, Fast API is expecting this advanced middleware to be ran before every single endpoint. So if we create an easy endpoint, that's just a get request with a slash and we say message hello world. If we go ahead and do a Ubicorn main colon app dash dash reload and we open up our application, as soon as we can see this, we can see that it's open by default. The request took this many seconds, so extremely fast call. And now if we go ahead and we just refresh the page and we refresh around like every one second, it's going to work and just keep printing hello world. However, if we refresh a whole bunch of times in a row, we're going to get rate limit exceeded. And that's because we are not allowing more than one call per second per API endpoint. All right, well, this is everything I wanted to show you for this video, and I will see you in the next.